Vladislav the Short or Elbow High was a king of Poland. He was a duke until 1300, and prince of Kraków from 1305 until his coronation as king on 20 January 1320. Because of his short height he was nicknamed Lokiatek, a diminutive of the word Lokik. It translates as L, or elbow, a medieval measure of length, as in elbow high. Background in 1138, the Kingdom of Poland, which had been growing in strength under the rule of the Piast dynasty, encountered an obstacle which impeded its development for nearly 200 years. In the will of King Bolesław III Rimał, Poland was divided into five provinces. Silesia, Mazowia with eastern Kujawia, Greater Poland, the Sandomierz region, and the Seniorate province. The senior eight province initially comprised Kraków and western Lesser Poland, eastern Greater Poland including Niezna and Kalisz, western Kujawia, Lechica and Sierads, and with Pomerelia as a fiefdom. To prevent his four sons from quarreling, Bolslaw granted one province to each of them, while the senior eight province was to be given to the eldest brother on the grounds of primogeniture. This decision was meant to forestall dynastic feuds and prevent the disintegration of the kingdom. However, it proved inadequate, and began nearly two centuries of what it had sought to counteract, constant fighting and disorder. Vladislav I succeeded in reuniting most of these lands back into the Kingdom of Poland. Life Vladislav was born circa 1260 as the third son of Casimir I of Kujawia, Duke of Kujawia, Lechica, and Sierrads. He was the eldest son of Casimir's third wife but had two elder half-brothers from his father's second wife, Leszek II the Black and Zimamizel. Leszek assumed the Duchy of Sierrads from their father in 1261, and after their father's death in 1267, Zimamizel inherited Kujawia. However, following the deaths of both brothers, the entire inheritance passed to Vladislav, who began the task of reuniting the Kingdom of Poland. His next step was winning Lesser Poland, for which he had to contest the local prince, Przemysl II. Following Przemysl's death in 1296, Vladislav proclaimed himself his successor and established himself in Lesser Poland, as well as Pomerania. While Vladislav enjoyed the support of the Lesser Polish peasants, knights, and part of the clergy, who preferred a prince from the domestic Piast dynasty, he had to defer to Wenceslaus II of Bohemia, who had the support of the local lords. In 1304 Vladislav entered and occupied Lesser Poland with an army of his supporters, which, according to the 15th century historian Jan de Lugos, consisted of more peasants than knights. He also conquered Pomerania around Gdansk. But since he did not win the favor of the local lords and settlers from Brandenburg who had migrated to that area, he was forced to give up the idea of complete control of the Baltic coast. By 1311, Vladislav was in power in Lesser Poland and his Kujawian patrimony. Despite the rebellion of W.O.J.T. Albert in Kraków and Sandomierz, he was able to hold these cities thanks to the support of the nobility, gentry and townsfolk. Three years later, Greater Poland also came under his rule. However, John of Luxembourg, King of Bohemia, also claimed the Polish crown. In alliance with the Teutonic Order, he attacked Vladislaw's forces from the north and west. While the Brandenburgians attempted to capture Greater Poland, nonetheless, Vladislav managed to maintain his dominions. In 1318, he embarked on a coronation campaign. The Pope, though initially unwilling, finally granted his approval and Vladislav was crowned King of Poland on 30 January 1320 in Kraków. The coronation was a sign that he had overcome Poland's internal fragmentation and reunited the country as an independent kingdom under his rule. A Polish Teutonic War occupied Vladislaw's last years. On 27 September 1331 he fought the Battle of Plauser in Kujawia against a group of Teutonic knights. 
Other groups of enemies withdrew to the north. After numerous casualties the armies were stalemated, though Vladislaw's forces conquered the field, captured some prisoners and stopped the expansion of the Teutonic Order in the region. Vladislav endeavored to establish a uniform legal code throughout the land. In this code he assured the safety and freedom of Jews and placed him on an equal footing with Christians. Vladislav died on 2 March 1333 in Krakow. His son, Casimir III the Great, inherited Lesser Poland, the Duchy of Sandomierz, Greater Poland, Kujawia, and the Duchies of Lechica and Sierrads. However, Silesia and Lubus land to the west, along with Gdansk Pomerania, a western Pomerania, and Mazovia to the north, still remained outside the kingdom's borders. Nevertheless Vladislaw's reign was a major step on the road to restoration of the Kingdom of Poland. Royal Titles Title before coronation Vladislaus Dei Gracia, Dux Regni Poloniae A Dominus Pomerania, Quiavi, Lancisha Iaxa Radi English translation. Vladislaus, by the grace of God, Duke of the Kingdom of Poland, and Lord of Pomerania, Kujawia, Lechica and Sierrads. Royal title after coronation. Vladislaus Dei Gracia, Rex Poloniae A Dominus Pomerania, Quiavi, Lancisha Iaxa Radi English translation. Vladislaus by the grace of God King of Poland, and Lord of Pomerania, Kujawia, Lechica and Sierrads. Later histories refer to him also as Vladislav IV or Vladislav I. There are no records to show that he actually used any regnal number. Both numerals are retrospective assignments by later historians. IV comes from him being the fourth of that name to rule as overlord of the Polish, since Vladislav I. Herman. I comes from him having restored the monarchy after a fragmented era of a century or more and also backwards counting from Vladislav Ivana who officially used the numeral 3 and Vladislav Vasa who used the numeral IV. Family In 1293, Vladislav married Hedwig of Kalish. She was a daughter of Boleslaws of Greater Poland and Jolenta of Hungary. They had six children, Stephen of Poland, Vladislav of Poland, Kunigunda of Poland, married first Bernard of Widnica. Their children included Bolkow II of Widnica, married secondly Rudolf I, Duke of Saxe-Wittenberg, Elizabeth of Poland, married Charles I of Hungary, Casimir III of Poland, Hedwig of Poland, Ancestors, Gallery. The so-called Crown of Bolslaw the Brave was made for Vladislav I. In 1320 the king began the building of a new royal cathedral. Portrait of King Vladislav I The Elbow High, 1579 to 1587. The tomb of the monarch inside the royal cathedral. Poland between 1275 and 1300.